What initially attracted us to Erase Hubs was their simple design and use of high quality materials, which results in a lightweight, durable hub set with really good looks. Uh, while they're not cheap, they are a top quality hub set and they're surprisingly good value. First looks are good, but what about the details? Well, let's take a deep dive and find out. There are two major platforms, one for mountain bike and a lighter, more svelte design for road and gravel use. They're functionally similar but visually different, and both are available for e-bike use, which is great to see. The road and gravel hubs are available in non-boost. Mountain bike hubs are available in both 15 and 20 mm boost front and boost and super boost rear. There are no quick release end caps available, which is a shame. Road hubs are center lock only, whereas the mountain bike platform are offered in both six bolt and center lock. Both platforms are available in J-Bend, straight pull and hook flange options, and there is an impressive range of spoke counts in each design. From a custom wheel builder's perspective, these options are fantastic, as it means we can use bird spokes or match an erase rear straight pull hub to one of the new Son 29S Dynamos, for example. Hubs are available in silver, black, purple, red, and orange. J-Bend and straight pull hubs are traditional shiny anodized colors. Hook flange hubs are sandblasted and they are matte in color. They're available in the same base colors, but with a different hue and finish. They are beautiful, but unlikely to be a good match with anodized parts from other brands. So be mindful if you're trying to match your hubs to an anodized bottom bracket or headset. A pair of road hubs will weigh around 327 grams, while a pair of mountain bike hubs will be around 357 for the center lock and 387 for the six bolt. These are impressively lightweight considering the titanium free body and full-sized bearings. Speaking of bearings, they come from Taiwanese manufacturer TPI and are excellent quality. 20 mm front hubs use 25377 bearings, but all of the other front hubs, rear hubs, free hub bodies use super common 15245 and 15287 bearings which makes getting replacements really easy. The end caps act as a dust shield and there are no additional seals beyond the cartridge bearings. The Erase Free Hub Body design is the highlight of the hubs for me. It's a really simple, clever ratchet design. There is one single large stainless steel clutch plate and an equally large spring. Mud is kept out by a large contact seal. There are no small parts to get lost and nothing can accidentally be installed upside down. The free hub body and dry side ratchet are machined from one glorious billet of titanium. This should mean less chance of any slipping, fewer creaking noises, an easier hub to service, and no more gouges on the free hub from cassette cogs. Titanium is renowned for being expensive and difficult to machine, and the free hub body is a complicated part to make, but it's likely easier and therefore cheaper to manufacture a single large part than lots of small complicated parts. If there's anything we've learned over the years, it's that complicated hub internals don't last as well as simple ones. So I love this KISS approach to design. When the hub is coasting, the clutch plates move back and forth in the aluminum hub shell. The clutch plate is made from a harder material than the hub shell, and on some other brands of ratchet hub, we've seen this design cause wear on the softer aluminum parts, which can cause engagement and disengagement issues. This tends to occur in designs with very small clutch plates and hubs that use large clutch plates like the Erase don't generally have this issue, but it is a good reason to stay on top of your hub maintenance. The free hub body system is available with 36 engagement points for the road and gravel hubs or 60 points of engagement for the mountain bike version. Neither of these is especially high engagement, but for most riders, this is likely to be fast enough. While the end caps are the same between the road and mountain platforms, the free hub bodies are not. While it would be nice to be able to mix and match, a race have done this in order to have better flange geometry on the road hubs, which is totally understandable. Mountain free hubs are available for Shimano HG and Microspline, as well as SRAM XD. Road free hubs are available in HG, Microspline, XDR, and Campagnolo N3W, and it's great to see a race covering all of the options. Free hub body drag is lower than most ratchet style hubs, and the free hubs have a fantastic sound. As you know, we're big on serviceability and long-term ownership. All of the small parts are readily available and are all affordably priced, which we'd love to see. There are tech docs and exploded diagrams on the Erase website, but they aren't as well labeled as some other companies. But 
A huge advantage of the simple Freeha body design is that servicing is easy and not many spare parts are needed. Everything pulls apart without any special tools and is easy to clean. While they're not as well known as some other hub brands, everything is exceptionally well designed and well made and covered by Erase's lifetime guarantee. We're expecting Erase to be really popular options for bird spoke builds and for people who are weight conscious but don't want to give up reliability for a fragile hub. If there's anything that I've missed or if there's any more info that you need, drop me a note in the comments. And again, you can see all of this info on the website.